before getting into our linear equations with uh, multiple unknowns and um, and to, uh, systems of linear equations, let's see if we remember how to solve linear equations with only one unknown, with only one variable. For example, x plus 7 is equal 10. This is a linear equation with one unknown x, with one variable x, and we need to find what x is. Well, in order to do, that, to do that, we need to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation, from the left side and from the right side. What I mean is this, x plus 7 is the left side of our equation. We need to subtract 7 from it. Well, if you subtract number from one side of the equation, you need to subtract the same number from the other side of the equation, from the right side. So 10 minus 7. x plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 10 minus 7. Well, subtracting 7 from this side takes care of these 7s. So we have x left on the left side and 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 is a solution of our linear equation. If you want to check, make sure you're correct, make sure we didn't make any mistakes in the process, we can plug in this 3 in this given linear equation and we'll have instead of x right 3 plus 7 that has to equal to 10. 3 plus 7 is indeed 10. So 10 is equal to 10. We're good. That's a good idea to always check your solution just to make sure you didn't make a mistake somewhere. Okay, another example. x minus 5 is equal to 4. Pause the video and try to solve it. Well, I hope you tried uh, to solve it. I hope you succeeded. If not, um, we'll solve it together and uh, see what we came up with. Okay. In order to solve this linear equations, we need uh, this linear equation. We need to add five to both sides. X minus five plus five is equal to four plus five. We added five to the left side. Therefore, we had to add five to the right side. Minus 5 and 5 go away. Have f x left. 4 plus 5 is 9. So x is equal to 9. 9 is our solution. We can plug in 9 to the equation and see. 9 minus 5 has to equal to 4. Well, 9 minus 5 is 4. So we have 4 is equal to 4. So x is equal to 9 indeed our solution. Okay, well, let's look at the other example. 2y plus 4 is equal to negative 8. Again, the first step is to get rid of this 4. And in order to get rid of this 4, we need to subtract 4 from this side and to subtract 4 from this side as well. So we'll have 2y plus 4 minus 4 is equal to minus 8 minus 4. 2y plus 4 minus 4 is equal minus 8 minus 4. Well, this 4 and this minus 4 go away. We have 2y is equal to minus 12. Minus 8 and minus 4 results in minus 12. Now, 2y is equal to minus 12, but we need to find what y is equal to. Well, in order to do that, we can divide 2y by 2, and we have y. Well, we also have to divide minus 12 by 2. We have y is equal to minus 6. y is equal to minus 6 is the solution to our linear equation. We can plug in minus 6 in this original equation and to check, make sure we're correct. 2, don't forget this constant times minus 6 plus 4 has to be equal to minus 8. 
Well, 2 times minus 6 is minus 12, plus 4 has to equal to minus 8. Minus 12 plus 4 is indeed negative 8. And has to be negative 8. It's correct. So y is equal to minus 6 is our solution. Let's look at the other example. 3x minus 3 is equal to 3. Pause the video and uh, try to solve it. Well, I hope you were able to solve it. If not, let's solve it together. First step is to get rid of the 3. So we add 3 to the left side and to the right side. Minus 3 and 3 go away. We have 3x is equal to 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, if we divide everything by 3, we'll have x is equal to 2. Well, let's go ahead, plug it in here, and check. 3 is constant. Times 2 minus 3 has to be equal to 3. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3 has to be equal to 3. 6 minus 3 is indeed 3, so 3 is equal to 3. We're good. So x is equal to 2 is our solution to this linear equation. Okay, let's look at the other example. A linear equation can be in this form. 0 is equal to 2a plus 5. Now, it's on the other side, uh, it's on the right side, and uh, uh, a couple of the examples we saw earlier, the variable, the unknown, was on the left side. Well, it doesn't really make any difference. First step is to get rid of this 5. And to get rid of this 5, we need to subtract 5 from this side, as well as from this side. So we'll have 0 minus 5 is equal to 2a plus 5 minus 5. Well, minus 5 is equal to 2a plus 5 minus 5. 5 and minus 5 go away and we have minus 5 is equal to 2a. If we divide this by 2, we also have to divide this by 2 and we'll have minus 5 over 2 is equal to a. This is our solution. This is a fraction, it's a negative fraction, it's a negative 5 over 2, it doesn't matter, we can still plug it in and see if you're correct or not. Okay, it has to be equal to 0, it's constant 2, times this negative fraction, plus 5. Okay, let me try to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, 2 times this fraction to go away, so we'll have 0 minus 5 plus 5. Well, minus 5 plus 5 is 0, has to be equal to 0. We're good, so this is indeed our solution. And look at one more, one more example. Okay. 5 is equal to 3y plus 6. Pause the video and try to solve it. Well, I hope you try to solve it. Let's see uh, what we get. Again, first step is to get rid of this 6. We subtract, we subtract 6 from this side as well as from this side. So we have 5 minus 6 is equal to 3y plus 6 minus 6. 5 minus 6 is equal to 3y plus 6 minus 6. 6 and minus 6 go away. We have 
minus 1. 5 minus 6 will result in negative 1 is equal to 3y. We divide this by 3. So plus this will have y is equal to negative 1 third. If we plug it into um, our original linear equations, equation should be good. Let's see. It has to be equal to 5. 3 times negative 1 third plus 6. Let's go away. So I have has to be equal to 5 minus 1 plus 6. Minus 1 plus 6 is 5. So we have 5 is equal to 5. Yes. So yes, um, y is equal to negative 1 third is the solution to this linear equation. Thank you for watching.